So there's going to be times where you're looking at your data and you're seeing huge peaks or troughs with that traffic. So those peaks you might be able to attribute to things like you shared something about a new product or a new service, or you did a presentation at an event and people came to your website after that. We may also have things going on in the world that might mean less traffic coming to your website. There could be a holiday, anything like that. We can go ahead and we can use annotations in our Google Analytics data to make notes about that so that looking back later on, we'll realize why we had that big fluctuation. So let's go ahead and look at how to use annotations in Google Analytics. Sometimes you might notice spikes in your traffic. Maybe things are going up and that's great, but also you might see that there are dips where the traffic levels have gone down. So if it's gone up, then maybe you can attribute that to an event you've attended. Maybe you gave a presentation and you provided links to your website. Um, so that's great. And then we've got people visiting and we can kind of attribute it to that. You also might have things that are going on within society. Um, maybe there are specific holidays or things and you want to be able to look back at your traffic later on and know what was going on at that moment in time. So what we can do is we can go ahead and we can use something called annotations within Google Analytics. So let's go ahead and let's first of all look at one of the reports. We'll look at the behavior and we'll look at the site content. So we'll be able to see all of the pages that people have been looking at. All right, so here we can see our timeline and we can see all of the traffic that's been going on within a specific time frame. Now, in the UK, the 25th of May was a bank holiday. So that's basically a national holiday where um, uh, schools and banks and, and certain organizations are going to be closed and people will have the day off. So that might have made a difference to the traffic. So what I can do is anywhere where you see a timeline, we've got this little arrow. I can click on this. First of all, we can see that there are already some notes that have been made for specific days. If I click to create a new annotation, I'm going to pick the date. I'm going to say, OK, well, this was um, Monday, the 25th of May, and it was Spring Bank Holiday UK. Um, I believe it was also Memorial Day in the US. And we can go ahead and we can save that. Now, you can um, have the visibility shared or private. That only really matters if you've given access to other people. So other third parties or, or people within your organization also have access to this Google Analytics account. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Now, notice what it does is it puts a little icon, like a speech bubble, where, on sort of the timeline of the date of where you've put that annotation. We can also see that we have the ability to star something. And if we star it, we'll see that there's a star that gets added to the comment icon. And when we click on that annotation in the list, notice that it is highlighted in the timeline on the date that we have selected. So now I know that if I ever want to come back and look and I see something about that specific time frame, I can look at the annotations and I see, oh, okay, well, that was a holiday. Um, maybe that made a difference to the traffic. So now let's say if I want to go ahead and look at the audience and we'll have a look at the overview for the audience, we'll look at a slightly different report. And we'll notice that we have those annotations showing up there as well. So it doesn't matter which of the timeline areas we add this to. Once we've added it, we'll be able to see that annotation throughout our Google Analytics account. So we won't have to remember where we've added that to or go back and look for it. It's also great if you are working with somebody that is uh, like third party, like a digital marketing company, and maybe they're going to be marking dates on there when they started off some kind of ad campaign or they launch something on your website, they can go ahead and add that annotation so that you can see it and, again, know or have some kind of idea why there might be a, a sort of a spike or a dip in your traffic. So certainly something worthwhile to think about using. Go ahead and try adding some annotations in Google Analytics. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe 
And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.